Really appreciate everybody coming. Um, basically, the plan for tonight is we're going to do a short little presentation. Just a couple of people are going to talk about Nathan this evening. And then we're going to get on the field and play just like Nathan would have wanted us to do. While we're playing tonight, um, we just have a couple things going on for the parents. We're going to have uh, the meeting room open so you can stay warm. Um, there's going to be coffee and hot chocolate served out of the concession stand. And we'll also have some counselors in the meeting room if anyone would like to meet with a counselor this evening from uh, several of the local, local churches here. Um, after we get done the presentation as well, um, we have set up um, some NC27 uh, cards to fill out. So if any families would like to fill out a, a card for the Clark family, just to um, tell them about maybe a favorite Nathan memory um, that we can share with them at a later date, or just some encouragement for their family, you can fill out one of those cards. They're available here in the Overlook as well as in the, uh, in the meeting room and in the Breezeway as well. Okay, and then when we get done tonight at 6.30, hopefully everyone's heading over to Wake Forest and cheer on the Demon Deacons, just like Nathan would have done as well. So it's uh, obviously really difficult losing someone you love, and um, I would just say that um, as a staff here at Twins, um, it's just been unbelievable the support that um, that we have felt this week, and uh, and I know we've we tried our best to pass that on to the Clark family and 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 their family and friends as well. Um, people have reached out from from other countries, from other states, Ohio, Virginia, Georgia. Just so many people have um, been touched by this and and have have been affected by this, and and they are showing our their support for our family here. Um, there's so many different groups here, as those that were at the service yesterday saw that um, there's people in the soccer world, um, the scouts world, church, school, um, and it's just amazing how many lives Nathan touched in, in his time here. And um, I just think, uh, I think it's amazing this, the support here tonight and how many people um, are here because of what Nathan stood for and how many people believe in getting together and supporting as a community of family and friends just shows how strong this community is. So um, yesterday at the service, Nathan's varsity coach talked about um, his soccer team being his family. And um, I would just say that it's very evident here that, um, I mean, look at, <laughs> look at this family that he had and, and um, even though Nathan was an only child, look at how many brothers and sisters and um, uncles and aunts that he had on the sidelines and on the field with him. And I just think that's absolutely incredible. And, and I know that his family feels that, um, that support here. So we thank you guys so much. Um, Wills Burns is going to read a poem that, that Nathan wrote um, a couple months ago. Fall is beautiful. The cold within at the players' cheeks and noses. Still, they play on. They love this weather. The cold, wet dew seeping through their cleats, soaking their socks and turning their toes into ice that bites, scratches, and burns their skin. Still, they play on. They fall down, soaking wet, and the dew leaps on their shirts and turns too frigid to bear. The players get hit in the face, realizing that their nerves aren't frozen solid, just numb for the time being. That is the beautiful game of soccer during the fall. That's why we play. That's the point of soccer, to enjoy everything. Okay, now we're going to have Wells Thompson talk. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Good. Good. I just want to start something real quick. You ready? Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. Come on, y'all. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. Come on, I know y'all can get loud on that. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. He can hear us in heaven, y'all. Nathan, Nathan. Awesome. Awesome. A little disappointing because I think you can be louder than that. That's just my gut. That's my gut instinct right now. So, wow, this is the most nervous I've ever been in my life. Seriously, such a huge honor just to um, talk about just an amazing kid. For all those who were at the service yesterday know what I'm talking about. And for all those who, who know Nathan uh, know what I'm talking about. Uh, but I want to tell you a secret real quick. Nathan is alive now, is more alive now than he ever has been or ever will be. Right? He's just not alive on this earth. But this world isn't all there is. There's something else. Right? So when we yell, Nathan, I think he can hear us from heaven. He's probably smiling, right? He's so happy right now. 
He's in no pain, no sadness, right? But we still miss him. I think one thing I want to communicate to the kids is that even though I can get up here and scream Nathan and, and, and have a smile on my face, like I've been crying. I've been crying nonstop since I heard the news. Um, so, and that's okay, right? We hurt too. And uh, for the kids, we, we love y'all and we're here for you. And if there's ever anything I can do uh, for any one of you, please let me know. So when I got to thinking about Nathan, I wanted to uh, kind of focus on the positive and kind of uh, uh, what Nathan taught us. So right, Nathan is, he passed on this earth, but we can carry Nathan with us, right? So see, some, a part of me wonders why something really bad has to happen for us to, for us to come together, right? But it's been so amazing, just the stories I've heard, just talking to different people, hearing about his parents, the faith that his parents have, saying that God has a plan for this, that's amazing. I'm crying on my knees, just saying, how can they say that? But you know what? They're so right. And the impact that Nathan has had and will continue to have because it'll continue, it'll continue to touch each, one, each and every one of us, right? So let's carry Nathan with us, right? Let's love each other better, right? Let's hold the door for people. Let's respect our parents, right, and our coaches. And I just want to warn all the kids who are playing tonight that I'm coming hard. <laughs> Seriously. Like, this is no joke, right? Nathan wouldn't take it as a joke out there. He'd want to win, right? So, parents, I apologize if I hurt any of your kids tonight. <laughs> okay? I really, I apologize. Um, but, uh, I, honestly, and, and he said I have one or two minutes. I'm way over that, I'm sure. But, Nathan, um, let's carry Nathan with us, y'all. Right? All right? And we'll see him again. I firmly believe with every single piece of me, every piece of my heart, that I'll see Nathan again. And, not be with, and that I will be with him for eternity, forever, in heaven. Have you ever thought about eternity? It's a long time, right? So I want to do one more thing. And guys, I want you to just give me everything you have, okay? So Ben and me are going to demonstrate real quick. And we're going to, on the count of three, me and Ben are just going to do it first time, and then I want y'all to do it, okay? We're going to scream, we love you, Nathan, because he can hear us, right? You ready? One, two, three. We love you, Nathan! All right? Can you guys do that for me? Come on. Where are you at? Come on. Ready? So on the count of three, just scream as loud as you can, okay? You ready? One, two, three. We're going to lead, lead into Mark Simpson, who's going to tell us all about the game plan for tonight. Okay, uh, certainly a tough act to follow after Wells, but I'll try my best. All right, so um, I'll just leave you with something. Uh, when I was walking off the field two weeks ago, I was walking from field seven to field three, as I normally do, gathering my thoughts before I go up the hill there, trying to avoid parents. <laughs> um, but I saw Nathan, and I hadn't seen him for a while. And he said to me, he said, how are you doing? And he really meant it. He actually, he cared. He looked at me, he said, how are you doing? I said, Nathan, I'm just trying to avoid some of the parents over there, to be honest. And he said, well, why don't you go around that way? And I did, and he was right. <laughs> so for me, tonight's about, you know, playing for Nathan. And very importantly to me, it's play like Nathan. Okay, so he has a wonderful smile. Every time you ever saw him, this smile is absolutely incredible. Okay, his passion for the game. Unbelievable, isn't it? Everyone who's ever seen him play that passion. You know, in the love of the game. So when we're playing tonight, regardless of which team you're on, that doesn't matter. Who you're playing against, smile a lot, play with a real passion and play with a real love in your eyes. Because that's what it's all about. Okay? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to assign fields we're going to go to. At the end of tonight, Catherine's going to blow a horn. She will be near fields two, three, four, five. All the kids, we're all going to meet in there and have a quick chat before we're going to send you off. All right? So if you are 8, 9, and 10, if you are um, a youth academy or hybrid academy or a rec player, just stand up, please. All right? You're going to get your...